if you are trying to learn the intricacies of the Cleveland housing market for investment purposes, this show is for you because we are doing a deep, deep dive on a duplex in Cleveland. We're going to talk about the money, the neighborhood, the tenant base, the whole shebang, the stuff they don't give you in those cute little listing descriptions by, you know, your nice little fancy prim and proper agents. No, 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 no. We, don't, we ain't going to mess with that stuff. We're going to give you the real dirty, the details, the good, the bad, the ugly right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This, this is the place to be if you are trying to learn about Cleveland real estate investing, right? Who the hell am I? I am James Wise. I'm the CEO of Holton Wise. Uh, if you're in Cleveland, I'm sure you know who we are. Uh, if you're learning about Cleveland, let me tell you who I am. I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate in the Cleveland market, and we run the largest scattered site portfolio of its kind. I know what I'm doing, okay? I'm here to help you guys break down investments in Cleveland, give you the information that other agents don't like to talk about. Today, I'm working for my girl, Sopia. Sopia, you are from uh, New York, and you sent me a duplex, and you want to know if this is a good investment for you as you are out of state. So without further ado, we are going to break this thing down like by the freaking splinter, baby, right now. Welcome back, folks. Let's do the damn thing. Let's talk about this duplex. Is this duplex got what it takes to accomplish your real estate goals, huh? 3398 East 146 Cleveland 44120 just hit the market four days ago. 120K, $120,000. That's what the seller is asking. Is that a good deal. What did the listing agent say? Well, the listing agent said, awesome Mount Pleasant double, well-maintained and tenant-ready for investors. Also, home buyers may like the opportunity to live in one unit, rent the other. Hardwood floors throughout, updated kitchen and bath, along with newer furnace, newer hot water tanks. Furnace hot water tanks. Those are nice that those are newer. Furnaces last about 30 years. Hot water tanks last about 15 years. Cost on hot water tanks about 1000 Cost on furnaces about 3000 Let's take a look. Classic Cleveland double. All right. And the inside is beautiful, right? They did what you want to do. Hardwoods, gray walls, white trim. This looks banging, dude. This is beautiful. They left one unit empty because that's a smart way to sell these properties because not only do you get to sell them to investors, you also can sell them to owner occupants. So that was a pretty smart move. Um, that worked out well for them, right? So don't think, oh, I can't rent it. Got the little low-flow toilet in there. That's nice because as landlords in the Cleveland market, y'all got to pay the water bill no matter what. More info on why that is in the fact on HoltonWise.com. But, you know, as we cruise through these photos, the units look great, right? So the the building itself, right? Awesome. Awesome. It's it's, it's great. Driveway's a little funky, but that's okay. So, uh, Cleveland's probably not going to harp on you for that. Some of the uh, suburbs in the Cleveland market that have point of sale uh, regulations and inspections, that could be a problem, right? So if you're in, like, Cleveland Heights, Garfield Heights, Euclid, that'd be an additional cost. In Cleveland proper, not a big deal. So what do we got going on here? Well, I like the house quite a bit. As far as the numero unos, they got one ten in there, seven and a quarter, but really market rent for a unit like this, it's seven fifty. So fifteen hundo, eighteen K of the eighteen K, of course you don't get to keep it all, folks. 
Fixed and variable expense estimates, I think you'll keep approximately 8600 a year. Now, price. That's where we got to talk. That's where I'm about to earn the money you're paying me here. See, this is, this is where I'm at with this, right? I like the building, okay? The building is cool. As far as the neighborhood, it's what I'm going to call transitional, okay? Now, in the description... The listing agent talked about Mount Pleasant. It's like this little area right here. All right? <clears throat> this is the fucking ghetto, right? That's the fucking ghetto. Like, it's fucking, like, oh, my. I've sold, like, apartment buildings that are, like, bombed out for, like, 10 grand over there, right? That's, that's about uh, as hood and as distressed as it could get. Now, up in here, this is Shaker Heights. And we have got several properties up in this little area, right? So this is your house. This is this house. It is very much transitional. The street itself, it's quite nice. Uh, but you have to understand, like, if we just pull up a Google Street View of the street, like, it's, it's nice. It's like a good, solid, like, C-grade street, okay? Like, no major red flags. Like, when you're in... The heart of the ghetto, you're going to see, like, torn down houses everywhere. Like, right here, we have, like, where there must have been, like, a row of them. But other than that, like, everything else on the street appears to be, like, decent, okay? But the blight is, is very close. Like, you know, all these properties appear to be nice, right? And, like, we don't have, like, every other house, like, a teardown or anything like that. But, like... We are close, okay? We are close. Let's just cruise one more. Just to, yeah, like, see, it's all looking pretty good here. But, like, to, to say that it's, like, purely C, I don't know how, like, fair of an assessment that is. Like, everything is looking fine and dandy on the street. But let me pull back up the map. Again, if you go this way, like, like, if you're, like, right here, like, ah, it's really bad. But, likewise, if you go over here, you're in Shaker. Like, I know, like, we literally have a house, like, this second house right here. Like, this is ours. And, I think, like, we have, like, I don't know, like maybe, like, ten houses, like, in this whole little area here. So, wh what I'm trying to say is, like, the street itself and, like, over here is what I would consider, like, C grade. Over here is, like, bombed out ghetto, bombed out ghetto. You're, like, straight up in the middle. So if your tenant's walking their dog and they go this way, it gets nicer. If your tenant's walking their dog and they go get, uh, they go this way, it gets less nice. That, I mean, that's that's where we're at. Uh, it, if it's, like, super hardcore, rough, tough, like, bombed out, we don't think anybody will ever be able to make money, uh, we won't handle the management. This is something we would handle the management on. Um, but, you know, I can't with a good conscience – sell you this property or tell you about this property or talk to you about this property without explaining to you that you are literally smack dab in the middle of a transitional area, right? Like, I, I don't really know exactly, you know, what to call it, right? Like, C, straight F, and you're, like, split right in the middle. Like, yeah, I would say it's, like, a C-grade street, and continuing east, it's more C-grade, and then it gets to Shaker, which is quite nice. But you go the other way, and it gets really bad really quick. Uh, so as a real estate investor, the thing that you need to understand is is what you're buying, right? So I wouldn't want you to assume that just because the street itself looks nice, uh, there's going to be no hints of blight. Like even on that street, remember, there was that like one little section where they had a bunch of dilapidated houses and they just tore them all down, right? It's, it's nice, though, that you don't see like torn down house every other one, every other one like you would. Like, as a matter of fact, here, we'll pop it back up on the map, and I'll show you something, like, right where I, uh, I'm telling you it's, like, bombed out ghetto. Like, so you can see the differences of what the streets are going to look like, okay? So, like, let's just cruise right here, and let's see here. We'll go, like, we'll take our little guy, and this over here, this is, like, going to be the, what the bombed out ghetto streets are going to look like, right? So you got a bombed out ghetto street here, so it's, like, empty lot, empty lot. There's another empty lot right there, and then on the street over there, there's an empty lot. And then you just, like, turn it around. You got another empty lot. And then there's a house. And then there's another empty lot. House, another empty lot. House, house, house. But then you got, like, an empty lot over here, right? So, like, 
you know, this is the difference, like, and, and this is just going a few streets over, right? You're going to, like, start to see all this stuff. Like, we're, like, literally, like, 20 streets down the road, okay? And this is the kind of stuff you're going to run into, right? Like, you know, here's some other, like, just blight, right? More, more blight. And then, like, over here, oops. Oh no, I lied. Here's, here we'll go right here. See so you got another another torn down lot right there. A couple more torn down lots right there. You, like you see the frequency of like uh not having houses? Like it's you know, that's what we're gonna run into. So <sighs> it's it's like hard to assess this. I would say it's like a C D property, but I just need you to be aware uh that you go this way, it gets a little rough. You go the other way, it gets good. So, like, for the price, I think 120k. With all of what I just explained to you, I don't think it's worth 120k. Now, if this was in a solid C, solid C area, yeah, it would be because you're seeing uh, actual houses, actual duplexes that are nowhere near this nice, this renovated, this improved, selling uh, for a hundred, right? And then this is much more updated and improved. But I don't think. It's worth 120. If it was like in some of the pure C grade neighborhoods in Cleveland, where it's it's mostly C and you don't see that extreme blight like drop off, I would say the extra 20k is worth all the recent improvements. Here, I don't think so. So here, what I would say, the best thing I can tell you as an investor is, I think it'll make the decent cash flow I projected, and I think the right price is going to be 100k to mitigate those risk factors. Right. So 25. 75 out of the bank should kick off approximately a 20% cash out cash return assuming you go section 8. You got to go section 8 folks. You have to. You need the government guaranteed rent. Would I recommend buying this if it was like a normal duplex that wasn't freshly renovated and didn't have those updates for 100k like we do in a lot of the pure C grade neighborhoods in Cleveland? Probably not. But here uh I think you're getting a little bit of a discount because of the neighborhood shift. But here's the thing with the transitional, right? In 10 years, this could go up, it could go down, right? Which way is this street going to go? Is it going to follow the good stuff or is it going to follow the bad stuff? So uh, with this one, if you do make the move, I think it could be a solid investment with a little bit of risk. If you have some high risk tolerance, you really want to pound out on that Section 8 cash flow, get a nice building. 100K is what I believe we should offer this seller. We cannot give them their 120, though. So if we do the deal at 100, I think it's a reasonable investment. But I would never, ever pitch this property to you, explain you uh, how nice of a building it is without giving you the full transparent look, which is where the neighborhood is. And that, folks, I think is the real value add of what we do here on Holton Wise TV, right? The, the listing agent, their job is to sell a property, make it look awesome, right? They're not talking about that, right? They're like, oh, awesome Mount Pleasant opportunity. They're not showing you the blight in Mount Pleasant, right? And that is what we do here, folks. We give you all the information so you can make an informed buying decision. And then after the fact, if you want us to handle the property management, we will absolutely do that. In addition, we can handle property insurance on this property and any other rental property in Ohio. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.